Hey guys, name is Fen. Welcome back to Requiem for the Dark Mod. Last time I left off in great fear, and this time my fear is slightly less because I understand this guy's deal. But nevertheless, I could go here. But this this part is a part with undead and with crowns. But then there's that seal door over that way that might lead me to a real place. Ooh, constipation of fear. Good thing this door closed by itself, all haunted cathedral style. So their heads are on fire. That's a bit silly looking for something that's supposed to be skipped. You know, and that's fine. It, it gets rid of some of the fear. Well, no, not really at all. But yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to be, like I said, very careful about undead. I mean, I don't mean it's silly looking just generally. I just mean for something that's supposed to be, like, really dark. Their heads being on fire is kind of whimsical is all. You know, not that it's bad, but uh, it is a little bit whimsical. But that's probably how they get you. And then comes the boomerang. No, never mind. I like that weird backwards fountain. It is backwards, isn't it? Maybe it's some other word. Well, I want to take a look at this guy up close. So, is this or is this not a standard haunt model? Hauntish. Uh-oh. No, no, they've got a, tor He's got a torch on his head. He walks pretty fast. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Okay, I've got holy water here. Let me just get, uh, scroll to it. No, he's too fast for me. Okay, so he walks around. So what I need to do is either not be in this room whatsoever or just skedaddle around and and do something else. Uh, I don't know. Uh, ho hoping he doesn't turn this way when he comes through the door pretty probably well. Crap. God damn it. Well, I've made things proper, quote unquote, by having an amount of health what makes me die if I get one hit. So let's get the holy water ready immediately and see how many hits it takes to uh, hit him so that he dies. Let's see. Should stand over here, probably. All right. 30 seconds, just like original thief. What? That didn't even hit him? Or it did, but it didn't affect him? Come on. Is there an effect? If it is, it's very subtle. Well, no matter. Uh, plan B. Of course, I should probably just follow him like a sneak, which is what I want to do, but I, I want to see what the fire arrow does. Maybe it makes something amusing happen, I don't know. Huh, ah, well. That does it. However, I think my best bet is to sort of stay over here till he starts turning that way and then just kind of follow him a bit. Okay. That's the thing about AIs is that they turn around to close doors, so you got to take that into account. It's not like in Thief where, where, uh, where they're going is pretty much where they're going to be facing at all times. You know, you got to take into account slightly more realistic behavior in tedium. Come on, come on. I take his crown, is he just gonna die? Yes! That's the way you do it! <laughs> I am so sneaky! See, that wasn't so tough. Uh, some people are even saying, Well, you know, the Dark Mod isn't hard enough. Well, <laughs> I guess... Oh, what? There's, there's two of them? Jeez. Uh-oh. You know what? <laughs> and that is the slightly more cheesier way that you can do it. I guess you can just run up to them and snatch their crown. I guess that does take a bit... Knowing that does take a bit of all of the fear out of it, actually. That's kind of unfortunate, but... Oh, what? This door's locked? Well... Oh, well. You know what? There, I think there's an auto setting for lockpick where it just finishes by itself, which... To me, might almost be something desirable. Like, I'm not doing it because I know I'm going to get made fun of if I do, but... Uh, I don't know. To me, it's almost the same thing. I mean, picking a lock isn't that hard. You just kind of got to, like, let go when the sound stops. And, uh, I could, like, I don't know. It's not that complex a thing, so to me, putting it on auto wouldn't be that much detriment. But, well, maybe. I guess I just won't because I'm obsessed with not appearing lame. I guess I got to get rid of that by maybe snatching all their crowns? I don't know. 
but there seems to be rather a lot of them. I don't remember if it stated a specific number. I've already forgotten. Maybe it was 12 or something. I don't know. Well, I'm still gonna try to sneak because that's the spirit of this here mod game thing. <laughs> it, it is kind of cool, but yeah. I do agree, well, I do have the AI sensitivity set to whatever the default is. Maybe I should jack it up to more challenging as I get used to the game and also play an expert and stuff like that, but... But hey, I, j I just, I don't know. That Once I know that I'm aiming for the crown and that I can still snatch it even if he's alerted, it kind of takes away the, the, the fear. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but it's a little disappointing. Kind of expecting it to be like in, in Original Thief, where you can't snatch something off someone's waist if they're alerted. I mean, I guess I don't know how you prevent someone snatching your crown just because you were alerted, but... Eh. Alright. Twelve. Maybe there's not anywhere near twelve. That's also a distinct possibility. But, you know, I tend to forget things I read. So, uh, you might wonder how I remembered to read, because I've forgotten the book, How to Read. <laughs> because there was a book on how to read for guards in some mission or other, and it was, it was hilarious. Well, sure there must be one other guy, but hey, maybe not. Maybe they all just kind of circle around. I like how you can stop doors in the middle, whereas in Thief 1 and 2, the only way to do that would be to block them strategically and then kind of... Do weird stuff. Uh, whatever. See, look at this, look at this. I'm just gonna kill this guy right now. Ah! No, I'm not! Oh. So was it a fluke then? When I managed to snatch his crown without him seeing? Weird. Wish these doors wouldn't close by themselves now, though. Which way do you turn, sir or madam? Let's dishonored hide it up. <laughs> you can't see me. Wow. Now now I'm back in the fuzzy hazy world for some reason. Do I? Yeah, I do see a ring or something there. Wait a minute. Oh. Grave robbing is a very fun pastime. Everyone should try it. These are the last words of Teleni, third wife of the Vas Utnam. Vasutnam has died, and we shall soon be offered as sacrifices in the temple. In this way, we will accompany him into the Shadowlands. I am proud to follow my husband, and have told my children to stay strong as they are thrown into the flames. Only the children of the most favored wife can remain after his death, and while I shared Vasutnam's bed, I never held his heart. I shall meet them again in eternity. What does that mean, never held his heart? Oh, well, I guess that means he just used you like a whore. Oh, man, right, boy. Well, yes, here's another symbol I get. Oh, so there's two. So really, then, I had to come here because there's probably going to be another door that I have to open. Well, I guess redundancy is a good thing when you're sealing in the undead. I <laughs> love the water. Like, in Thief... Even even with all the graphical upgrades and engine upgrades, because of its era, the water is still just a weak point, you know? Like, you can make a really good graphic for it, but it just doesn't compare to this sort of actual distortioning water that you get in newer engines. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, let's, let's show me attempt to get... Ah, that's a little a bit of a weird physics box, but it does make things possible instead of impossible, so I guess we can't complain much, except, well, there's obviously a way back, like, I mean, clearly, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get back, and I'd be just stupid. Am I? Okay, okay, really. Do I shoot a rope up somewhere, maybe? No. Um, V, no. What? Maybe there's an alternate way back? Can you slash banners still? Well, no, not really. How disappointing. Well, I seem to have missed whatever was in here. So, there's that. <laughs> that mask was takeable in Dark of the Heart Star, by which I mean Heart of Lone Destruction. By which I mean Heart of Lone Salvation. Oh, but wait. Is this? No, that's just... Man! 
How do I get up a waterfall? Oh, I was crouching underneath something, so... That, that, that makes sense now. Stand tall before the master builder and climb the waterfall. And uh, now I'm not remembering where... Okay, is this an actual place too? This is with the bridge, I'm sure. Oh, I'm already past the first seal. Oh, jeez. Now I'm not... Okay, that was a place that was a dead end. What the hell is this? What was this? Did I even go here? Yes, this is arming me. Okay. And by the way, Fen over here, you know, I'm not offended. I was just more confused than anything. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. Like, I talk about Fluttershy and stuff all the time, so, I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, hey, why'd somebody make me a girl? I think it's funny. But, okay, okay. Things are starting to make a bit more sense now. Things are starting to get a bit more pointing me on the path to- I just love this freaking bridge! Okay, I guess part of the bridge did fall. Uh, maybe it was that part. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I just love the look of this. Ah, oh, I love the look of this stuff. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> so good mantling. Oh boy. In Thief, it would have been like, that wasn't a straight surface, you can't mantle on it. <laughs> but this one's just like, hey, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice game. I will let you do a thing. Well, those weird little chibi statues are telling me to stop. So I guess I will disobey them, because when a game tells you to do something, that means that you shouldn't, or vice versa. So, yeah. Here I am showing the lockpicks again. It's not entertaining at all. Here I am messing it up again. Gah! Oh, eh, there we go. <laughs> well, what if we're here? Though our bodies waste away, our spirits remain forever vigilant. Well... Okay, then. Well... Those were some cool undeads. I can't wait to see if there's any different kinds of undeads. That would be pretty interesting. It has been weeks since the terrible tremors shook this place, and none of our brothers have made it across the chasm to reach us. Our stores are gone, and we are starving. I write this with leaden arms and with a terrible weakness, pulling at my bones. Yet I gain comfort in knowing that our eternal home beckons us. I only pray that the Master Builder can delay the moment of our deaths. Until our last ounce of strength departs us, we will remain vigilant in our cause. As long as we have the strength to resist, the evil shall remain locked in its cage. Well, the evil is going to be quite fun when I release it, presumably. So <laughs> let's just rush headlong into releasing that evil. Well, that didn't release it. Whoa, that guy's... that guy's pretty happy to be standing. Tell you what. Yeah, well, I'm about ready for, like, the shock scare of my life history here. But it just keeps suspensioning me right until I die. So I could go down. Wow, this place is huge. I mean, it just it does just keep going. Like, but that's cool with me because I am loving this. We do not know how the evil use this structure. Perhaps it was once a royal storehouse, but it is empty and abandoned now. The broken bodies of several poor wretches lie at the bottom of the pit. They must have been flung down from the topmost level. Perhaps they were sacrificed as a foul consecration for the contents therein. What a pity that such a beautiful place has been so sullied by the actions of man. The walls remind me of St. Nero's, where my father first taught me the ways of the builder. Perhaps one day we can use this place for a holy purpose. For now, I will give the dead below a proper burial in a corner of the lower chamber, along with the few treasures we have found. Well, you know, some of these builders... You know, I wonder how many times I've accidentally called the builders hammers and Bull and Garrett. That'd be funny. People are probably rolling their eyes all up the avenue. So, yeah, it just kind of goes down level by level. Just... Making you think things are going to occur, and then they don't. Except this seems to be the final level the stairs reach, so actually I should probably just go down non-stairish way. Well, here's the pit, 
And in case I don't have a rope, he provides a rope for you. Very good design here, you know? Get me off the rope. The, you know what? Hang on. Let me let me just try. Um. I could swear there was get off the rope by crouching style. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. This is this is kind of like Resident Evil 4 where he gets flung down the pit like, Not falling for that old trick, old man. Your right hand comes off. Die, you worm! You know what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, it's the third. Uh-oh. Yeah, right, I should have known. He heard me. What heard me? That's the question. I'm, this is the first time I'm seeing Undead in the Dark Mob, by the way. All the missions I've played up till now did not have Undead, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so it's like a ghost. Okay. There's only one, right? Alright. Um... Do, do I... How do I... How do I get back out? I must have to climb up these little steps or something. Oh, I must have to rope back. I guess. Okay. Well... Uh-oh. Yeah, so, so, I mean, I don't know. It is my first experience with Undead. I don't know how many there are. I don't know what they are besides the two I've seen already. Uh, crap, I should go right to the very top. Um, and I don't know anything about them, so, yeah. Although, they seem to not be presenting an enormously huge challenge as of yet. I mean, sort of. I did get killed a couple of times by those other guys, but, you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess either I'm slightly better... At the mod now. Oh. Or somebody's tricking me. Or I'm just not playing on difficult. Okay, he heard me or saw me. I will accept that consequence. But, yeah. Uh oh. Run! Run! That's all I can do. Oh, crap. They're on every level. You know what? I just feel like. They should be more alert, so maybe I should... Oh, crap. Okay, got what I asked. Maybe I should set some sliders to slightly more difficult. Because... As of now, they're... Oh. I'm stupid, however, and keep... Oh! Okay, okay. That's a little more challenging. No, don't hit me even once! Don't hit me even once or I'm dead! Okay. Ha! Yeah, you fools. But where do I put that other seal? Hope I don't have to go back here and put it somewhere because what am I even what am I even doing I've gone through one set of doors right um oh, bloody hell. let's try that again <clears throat> oh, bl <laughs> oh bloody hell is my standard exclamation of blood I, I maybe I do have to go back there and try that other door Oh, no. No. It's the progress ghost. Go with the Builder's might. The evil awaits you. Alright. Go where with the Builder's might? Um... Again, I don't really remember. Am I supposed... Okay, what... Wait a minute. The first seal was here. Where am I going? Well, if the first one's here, then you would think that the other two are just further in this way, then. This looks important, but I'm, I don't know how. They're gone. They all walked away or said, okay, this door still isn't a door, right? Yeah. So we've got two other seals, the third, the second, and the third. Nope, they're not gone. Here they are. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho 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 ho. Yeah. Okay, enough of my board. I don't know. Somebody. Uh, Aluminum Haste said that this this would make or break my love of the undead. Still not sure what it means. I mean, to me, they're not as scary as I was expecting them to be. Like, they're easier to avoid than I thought they would be. Is that because of the difficulty level and or because of the AI sliders? Or what? You didn't even seem to move that fast. I don't know. I, I guess I just have in my mind that this, the dark mod is way harder than Thief. So I'm always like, oh god, it's going to be so hard. But then when it isn't, I'm like, whoa. I mean, this is just like a big old centerpiece. It's got to... 
have so I mean, it's got like these laser light emitters on it. I mean, what? Well, I guess these paths are to get the second and third seal thing. I'm gonna go back and see if I can see if I've forgotten something. No, this is direct. This is the elevator right down. So there's. <sighs> what am I missing? Okay, uh, full disclosure, I just picked up a hundred loot from inside of here, yeah. And there's that. Oh! Oh! Hidden in the shadows are these things. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot more sense. Come on, then. Oh, it's a mine. I thought I said vine. It looks like a rather flat silver vine, but hey. Uh -oh. Well, now I've done it. Whoa. Well, I can't return to Hacker's house because, uh, because that anti-hacker elevator there will not take me back up. However, I think that'll do it for today. Next time, I face the evil because it's far too perilous not to be faced. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.